the sequence at which decisions should be made. Sequence is very important. Just imagine going to a surgery and the surgeon does the surgery and then washes his hands. <laughs> or you wipe your nose first and then you sneeze. Doesn't work. The sequence was wrong. Decision making, decision should be made in a certain sequence of variables in order for them to be made well. The first thing you should discuss is what are we talking about? You have to define the words you're using. Because many times people fight. Everybody has a different interpretation of the words they're using. And they're talking about different things that they don't know they're talking about different things. Especially in a marriage. What does love mean to you? <laughs> what it means, love to you means one thing, to your spouse something else, to your children something else, to the neighbor something else. What do you mean by the words love? And in business, what do we mean by the word yes? For the type E, the entrepreneurial type yes means yes. For a bureaucrat, yes means yes. Different. What do we mean by the words we use? Be careful. So we start with what are we talking about? Okay. What's the next thing? Why are we talking about it? Why? What's the benefit of it? What's the purpose of this discussion? Now look, you have to align the what with the why. What are we talking about? Does it fit why we are doing it now? Because you might go back and redefine what you're talking about in light of the why we are doing it. You have to align those two variables. Now you go to the next one. Which is the next one depends on the subject. It can change. And the variables are how, by when, and who. So now the question could be, if there is a pressure of time, the next variable is by when do we have to do it? In light of it, how do we go to do it? And in light of it, who is going to do it? If you don't have enough people or the right people to do it, then you start with the who. I know what I want to do. I know why I want to do it. Now the next one, you're going to adapt it to the who. And you might go back and adapt the what and the why in light of the limitations of the who. And then you look at the how and you say, yeah, but you don't have enough money. Change who is going to do it. Change what we are going to do it. Even change why you're doing it to align with the how. And then the when, but we don't have time. Oh my God, we have to change the what and the why and the who and the how. You really have a good decision when all these variables, five variables, are aligned. I know what I'm going to do, why I'm going to do it. It can be done because I know the how. It know by when it's going to be done, and I have the right person to do it. Now we have a decision. Thank you.